Do you have any pre-match superstition? Um, no, not really. Uh, I always like to, when I arrive at the ground, I always um, get a coffee. Um, and then I uh, always put my left boot on first for some reason. So apart from that, no, not too bad. What is your favourite pre-match meal? Um, porridge with some fruit in it so like blueberries uh, a banana and then a slice of toast what's been your most memorable moment in football um probably playing uh in the last 16 in the european championships um with my country and uh the italy game as well was uh, was great to qualify but then to play against you know the hosts in a, such a great stadium and then to to play well and uh run them so close that was probably you know my best moment if you could sign any player to play to Dar at Derby, who would it be and why? Um, well, in the world? Yeah. Yeah. Messi, Lionel Messi. Not Ronaldo. No, I'm more of a Messi fan, yeah. I like Ronaldo, for sure, he's brilliant, but I don't know, I just think Messi would uh, just beat him for, my, for, my, for, for me. The way he plays, I think uh, if we signed him, we'd do all right. What about someone to play at the back with you? Uh, okay, that's a good... Um, I'm a big fan of... Um, Hummels from Germany as well. I like him. I think uh, he'd be very good. Him and Boateng are yeah, very solid. Um, Benucci actually as well for Italy. Um, obviously playing against him and seeing him you know, up close uh, was great. And um, we managed to swap shirts as well. So yeah, it was. Uh, I would choose probably one of them three. Which sports person do you look, to look up to most and why? Hmm, it's a tough question. Um, sports person. Oh, that's tough, isn't it? Mm. I'll come back to that one. All right. Um, if you weren't a professional footballer, what would you do? Um, I'd probably be involved in sport in some way, I would have thought. Um, growing up, like I say, I was very into sport. Obviously, football was my, you know, I was, I was just thought about football when I was younger. But yeah, I think I, I'd done like a, when I was done my youth uh, scholarship, I'd done a MVQ in, um, sports science like kind of uh, that kind of side so um that or coaching or something i think i would definitely would have stayed in, in in sport or football in general um which football team do you always check the results of um obviously growing up i was a west ham fan you know my family from all that area my dad's still a big fan so i don't obviously follow him as much now for sure but um yeah i always always look out for for their results and you know my old teams as well so um, so it's nice to keep an eye on them and see how they're getting on. So, yeah, it's nice. Which game was tougher to play in, Italy or France? Oh, OK, there's a good one. Um, I think they were both obviously very tough. I just think the Italy game was such a big game for us. You know, we knew we had to win the game. Um, the odds were stacked against us in the group and everything. And to, to kind of do it how we did it and, and play well and score that last minute goal, that dramatic goal was... Um, was amazing. Um, I don't know, it's hard to decide really. Um, I'd say they're both as hard as each other. <laughs> Would you rather get promoted to the Premier League or win the Euros? Get promoted. Um, PlayStation or Xbox? PlayStation. Chicken nuggets or fish fingers? Chicken nuggets. Books or movies? Mm. I like books, but I probably prefer a movie, yeah. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Winter or summer? Mm, summer. Chinese or Indian? Indian. Cardio or weights? Oh, that's tough. Um, I'm going to say cardio. iPhone or Android? iPhone. Fruit or veg? Both. Chocolate or sweets? Chocolate. You've answered this one already, but Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. <laughs> Thank you.